podcast is an authentical and inspiring series of the Whole Truth Gospel radio program. A biblical program that is dedicated for the salvation and edification of all humanity, regardless of the race of color. Now the broadcast originating from the new headquarters of the churches of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Located here in downtown Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at 22nd and Bainbridge Street, Bishop S.D. Johnson, founder, pastor, and general seer. The broadcast will day through our village station, the headquarters station, 70 AS of Philadelphia.
Johnson Radio Network. It is the world's largest apostolic faith radio network, originating from the world's largest apostolic faith church edifice, the New General Assembly of the Churches of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith, located here in downtown Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, at 22nd and Bainbridge Street. Bishop S.C. Johnson, founder, pastor, and general overseer. And never don't forget to come out today for this great service that is now going on. We are dedicating this new church edifice here in downtown Philadelphia, a very spacious building, very modern, and also a very wonderful fireproof building. Now come out and see for yourself, and find out along with us, as we shall be rejoicing, and are rejoicing right now, for the wonderful work of God given to us through our pastor, Bishop S.C. Johnson. Now the service is in progress right now, it will be going on throughout the entire day, and every day this week, and every night this week, the Lord willing, even until next week. Now next week is the first day of the Women's National Congress. Now come out every night this week, and every night next week, and be inspired and informed about the Word of God by Bishop S.C. John. Now this building here was put up by faith, uh, without a mortgage. Now Bishop will tell you more about that as he comes to the pulpit. So come out and hear him elaborate on the, on the gospel of faith. If you want to have more faith in God, Come out and hear him that he shall teach us faith how God blesses to acquire this wonderful building here, to put it up without a mortgage. It's great, wonderful, fireproof building. Biggest apostolic faith church in the world. Very beautiful. If you don't believe it, come down and see it. Nothing like it in the city or in the state or in the country that I've seen and very parts of the world that I've been seeing and compared to this the apostolic faith church ever. Located here in downtown Philadelphia, 22nd and Family Street. Now, along with this dedicated choral service, we are having, we're celebrating, commemorating the pastoral anniversary, 41st pastoral anniversary of Bishop S.C. Johnson. Now, 41 years ago, he began to pastor a small, single church in the city of Philadelphia. A little small church, so small that you hardly noticed it. He didn't know it, he passed right by it. So, by hanging on to the truth of the gospel, God blessed him and given him his word and established him the day he has many, many churches of the Lord Jesus Christ throughout the United States and various parts of the world. And also, he began to broadcast 21 years ago on a small, single, local station here in Philadelphia. Now, today his voice is carried throughout the world, throughout the United States, on many stations. Now, come out today, as he shall tell you more about that in person, how God bless him to hold on and carry on this great work through the many years. Now, this service takes place today, is now going on, the morning service, 11 a.m., the evening service, at 7.30 p.m. Now, the mission is free to all come early and get a special seat so you can hear and see what's going on here in downtown Philadelphia. Now, come out through the entire week, every night, and also on next week, there will be day sessions next week, and also night services on next week. And don't forget now, the broadcast will be heard in New York City every night, beginning next Sunday, over WNTA, 970 kilocycles, in the New York City area, seven nights a week, over New York City Station, WNTA of New York City. Now, don't forget this broadcast is heard every night of the year over the great station, XERF, Del Rio, Texas, hour late on Sunday night, and all times on from the same station, XERF. Now, I thank you, uh, before we do that, we'd like to thank you one more time for knowledge, your telegram, donations, and flowers sent in by the various companies and establishments to this great uh, dedication service now going on. Mr. Johnson, thank you very much, and also speaking for the entire church and group and staff of this church. <laughs> now, we present you from the new church edifice here in downtown Philadelphia in person, the Honorable Bishop S.C. Johnson, the world's foremost minister, Bible analyst, and authority on the divine inspired word of God. On this great occasion, Bishop S.C. Johnson. Father, Lord, <clears throat> God Almighty, thank you and we praise you and we honor you, glorify you for your loving kindness, for your full knowledge, for your purpose, which you purposed in Christ Jesus for the world world. Bible says that you ordain for the foundation of the world that men live holy. And you said as your purpose it'll stand. As you have thought it'll come to pass. You said as the rain cometh down from heaven and snow 
and returneth not thither. But waters the earth, that it might bring forth and bud, give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater. You said, so shall your word be. Goeth out of your mouth, it will not return void. But it shall accomplish where under you sent it, and it will prosper in that it please. It has come to pass thus far, and that that has not come to pass will. God who cannot lie, thank God said these things. We're glad for your mighty hand, for your wonder. Thank God that is wrought in the earth so that men and women will know there is a living God that you ordain that they live holy and you brought about your purpose even though the devil Sin was cast out of heaven. Came down on earth and plunged everything into chaos. But the great God of heaven and earth moved upon the face of the deep. Saying, let there be light. There was light. And you created everything that are visible and invisible. Then you made man upon the earth. Work out your purpose that your purpose before the heavens were. Devil deceived man and his sin disobeyed you. Nevertheless, your purpose continued. When you said the seed of the woman going to bruise the serpent's head, and he should bruise a heel, his heel. Now you brought it about when you left heaven and come on down through forty and two generations. Went to a woman and made yourself a body which was the son of God. Got in the body. Thank God and was born here like us. It was determined that your purpose would stand. Preach the gospel, heal the sick, raise the dead, went to the cross, died on the cross and went down the hell, come on back the third day. Went to the apostles and give them the gospel. Told them to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. It was published throughout the world. For the apostle Paul said it was preached to every creature. Thank God that was under the heaven. But according to the prophet said, which had to be fulfilled, darkness was going to cover the earth, when the apostles ceased, that was fulfilled. And gross darkness to people. But you said at evening time. <laughs> Hallelujah to God that shall be light. And you, who knows everything. Thank God kept me back. And in due time, form me in the womb. Thank God that your gospel might be continued when the light come back to the world. The gospel that was preached by the apostles. And you kept us and brought us, thank God, to where we are. Charged us to preach the gospel. Give it to us and as stood with us. 
haven't failed us, neither had you forsaken us. But your blessing has been great. As you told us, thank God in a message years ago, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. On the throne of David, upon his kingdom, to order it and establish it, henceforth and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts shall perform this. It was your mighty hand that touched us and moved on us to visit the different states and to contact the people. Thank God with the eternal word of God that fell into the heart of the hearers, those that were waiting for truth, those that longed for truth, those that desired the light of the gospel. Thank God you answered prayer, you had, you delivered. Thank God and you brought it about by sending the gospel and causing them to hear it at my mouth. Thou commanded us, praise God, to preach the word. And regardless to the circumstance that was surrounding or exists, not to look at the circumstance, but look at God. And by looking at you, you brought us out. Thank God, and you've given us the big time. Cause us. Thank God to continue until this day. Witnessing to both small and great, none other thing but that Moses and the prophets did say should come. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, even for giving us the desires of our heart. When you swept away the first, thank God that you might establish the second. When our enemies rejoice, yeah, but it's written. Rejoice not over me, oh my enemy, but though I fall, yet shall I rise. Thank God you helped her, you guided her, you kept her. Thank God it enabled her to rise again and come back. Thank God and full force that we might continue to the prayer council. Now we ask you in that great name that you would establish this place forever before thee, where thy great name will be praised, honored, and glorified, where your goodness will be spoken of. Let it be a lighthouse forever. Thank God for the people that they might be brought out of darkness into the marvelous light of the gospel. Sanctified, we pray thee. Make it, praise God, a soul-saving station. Why men and women will enter and will hear you out of your word. We're not able to thank you. We don't know how. Thank God tongues can't praise you. But we give you the glory. Thank God for what you have done for us. We pray thy blessing upon the hearers that are hearing this prayer and upon those who are present. Yeah, that the eyes will come open, that they will see what it is yet called thee. God, consecrate and set aside. Let everything be done in this house. The house you built. Your own built it. We wasn't able to do it. We see your mighty hand. Thank God that we look on this temple. Yeah, from the depths of our heart. 
We give you the glory. I God in the honor for what you have done for us and for thy great name. Bless all that are present. Bless them that are coming. My God, get the glory out of their lives. And let it be known in this place the wonderful counsel of God. We praise you. We honor you. We glorify you. We thank you. Yes! That you brought us up. And you set us on high. Bless the ministering brothers present and all the delegates that has come to witness this great day, which is a great day. Thank you for guiding us, for keeping us, for preserving us, for establishing us, for confirming the testimony of Christ in us. Yeah, that we might declare it to thy people. Let your blessing and your mercy be extended. And we'll praise and we'll honor you, Lord God. And we'll give you the glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And it's all right now. All right now. Thy head I pray. Whenever the Spirit speaks, it's that.